this is one of my uh, favorite quotes. It's from Michael Jordan, the all-time great uh, basketball player. Unfortunately, I'm from Detroit, and he played for the Bulls. And we had some great battles between the Pistons and Bulls. But you had to respect this guy. He was just incredible. He said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot, and I missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. I love this quote because it really talks about the topic at hand of being proactive. And being proactive, is, let's have some motion. Let's do something. But you know what stops a lot of people from doing anything? They're afraid to fail. And they say, oh, man, I've never been afraid to fail. I like the Michael Jordan thing. I do. I'm willing to take risks. But if I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail fast. And as uh, Dave Johnson says, fail cheap. What I want to do is create momentum and show progress. I want action, TNT, today, not tomorrow. Action TNT is a little acronym I learned from another great leader who I stand, whose shoulders I stand on. I uh, just remember that progress isn't always a straight line. How many times did uh, Edison fail at making a light bulb before he succeeded? So you, what you want to do is just create momentum and create progress. And so one of the tools I use to show progress is a solution tree. This is something I borrowed from uh, the Red X and Shannon. Uh, and it includes uh, possible solutions to a problem. And then as we go and test them, we can uh, draw a line through the ones that prove to not be true. And as you can see here, I have a solution tree that includes a lot of non-solutions because a lot of things were crossed out because we ran a test and said it can't be that. And then with this, we're searching for what the solution is. But as we go, we are making progress because we are showing what it is not. Now, I had a boss once who didn't like that. He goes, oh, I don't see you getting solutions. I, I, I see a lot of knots, and I don't understand why the chief engineer loves it. I, you know, my point was, hey, I showed more progress in a week of what it's not than they did in the two months of talking about it in meetings. And the thing was, I wasn't afraid to fail. I just went out and got data and was able to say, oh, no, oh, can't be material, can't be handling, can't be this. It has to be something else. And while we're doing the excluding some, we are honing in on an answer. Um, so just remember that uh, don't be afraid to take risk. A failure is progress, and a failure is a learning moment. And frequently, by gathering data, you would learn some new things that would help guide where you're going. So make sure if you do fail, do it fast, uh, but don't be slow. And I would always know if, if, as I tested any one of these, I knew where I was going to go uh, based on what the answer was. If yes, then this. If no, then that. And so I just kept moving and moving and moving quickly and efficiently towards uh, a final solution. And it was interesting because I told you about my boss. He, he didn't get it. He was just like, I don't, I, I don't get it. What? And as I told you, I was leader of the Design for Six Sigma initiative at General Motors globally. And if you wanted to become a master black belt, you had to go through me. And this young uh, gentleman who was my director, new to the position executive leadership, and he just said, I, I don't get it. What makes you the master? I see a lot of uh, uh, no solutions. And I said, look, dude, you're just looking at it wrong. I'm a master because I've tried and failed more times than you've even tried. Failure was and is always just one step on the road to success. That's why I'm the master. I understand I don't make mistakes twice, but I'm willing to make them, and I'm willing to move quickly. Uh, when we got done with that program, the chief engineer was ecstatic because we quickly, where nobody was afraid to gather data, was okay if you were wrong as long as you moved quickly and we started solving problems at a rate that they had never seen. 